but yeah, let's so. let's transition. That was a great yeah. segue. So this year's show title, the Red Line. What was the kind of inspiration or drive behind this concept? What is the concept? Uh, yeah, we'll just jump in. Yeah. So you know, it's the thirtieth year. Um, we don't necessarily like doing shows about ourselves or anything like that, but we felt it was an appropriate time to do uh, a show where we can celebrate and pay homage to artists in the past that have broken the boundaries for other people to follow. So in other words, we, it could be music, it could be uh, Elvis getting uh, uh, censored from the waist down mm -hmm. to, uh, you know, John Cage 433 just controlling silence, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of avant-garde stuff that we've put in the show that were boundary pushers at certain times of those people's careers. So uh, Aerosmith and Run DMC, the first time rock and rap kind of merged together. We've got a moment in there about that. Uh, we have uh, an NWA moment where a lot of the clearly words are beeped out. So that's kind of the effect is... <laughs> Yeah, censored on that. Uh, an Elvis like lower body moment where we're, you know, dancing like Elvis. And we have uh, a dance team this year. Uh, they, they call themselves the Mosh Pit. They're very talented, um, which is really cool because we, we, we really lucked out and got seven really talented movement um, folks. And um, to be able to use them in the way that we want versus, you know, we're expecting to get either drummers or a brass player that's wanting to move and do movement which is totally great but like we were able to get a, a different kind of talent so we're we're using that which is really good and um and they are the red line through parts of the show you know we're mm -hmm. breaking through those things and uh, so the red line and, being the boundary being broken by all these things that you're paying homage to that did that in in their correct yeah various yeah. medium yep. exactly so we're using like red stanchions that pull out uh the red lights uh the way the dancer's uniform is they're arms are red plus across the chest so they can kind of create different lines and extension of the props or extension of the fabric that they're pulling out or they become the red line in different spots but the um, floor we try itself to too. yeah yeah exactly yeah so we try to use moment all the elements that we have in the show to kind of break through um to to visualize that that coordinates with musical elements that are happening um but there's you know, we pay homage to Nina Simone, a uh, famous black artist that she did um, um, Feeling um, Good. Yeah, right? Feeling Good. Yeah. So, and uh, people think, oh, yeah, Michael Buble is like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Go back a little bit further than that. Right. So, um, we, we try to put some really nuanced stuff in there. Some things may feel a little more nuanced. Some things might be in your face, like the NWA thing or the Elvis stuff that's really easy to grab a hold of. We've got a section in there where we break silence and we play. Um, hey, Jeffrey, what's up? Um, <laughs> Jeffrey and Jimmy. The, uh, yeah, Jeffrey. Jeffrey doesn't get on camera much because he doesn't sit still long enough, but he's, they're probably hungry here in a bit. But um, yeah, poor Jenny. No, she's, let's shout. Move. Jeffrey, get down. Sorry. <laughs> You're fine. Um, sorry. Uh, what was I talking about? Help me out here. Uh, the You're NWA about... stuff is more blatant, Elvis, and then you have oh, yeah, uh, Michael yeah, Bublé yeah, feeling stuff. good. Yeah, Michael Bublé, we do uh, uh, some Eminem in there, like the uh, Godzilla rap, like really fast and articulate, goes with a snare, like it's really cool. And then uh, out of the silence section comes, we, we break that silence with the Yoko Ono scream. Have you all seen that? Like basically she's, it's one of her like art pieces that she does where she like, she hollers. You should Google it on YouTube. It's, it's pretty, pretty interesting. Anyway, so that is in there as part of our uh, avant-garde type stuff. Um, Speaking of like bomb. crossing the barrier, and this is these crazy videos I've seen them on like Instagram Reels or TikTok or something. Like the people that are playing like the snare drums and they're just like rolling around on like the table and stuff. <laughs> Have you seen those? I'm just gonna yes, it's not quite there. as avant-garde as that, but yeah, <laughs> it's. It's in the same vein as that, for sure. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, you know, there's a little snippets of, um, um, you know, Stravinsky, Rite of Spring in there, you know, the mm. original Bad Boy music. So there's that type of stuff that's kind of woven in and out. And um, 
Oh, there she is. When you guys are designing um, and going through, are you kind of brainstorming on key moments that you want to have happen, and then you eventually go back and try to put them into an order? Um, do you pick out certain visual things first, certain musical things first, a little bit of both? Well, every year is a little different. This year, I think we chose the music first, and then I went through and started putting ideas and elements to certain things. Um, like, for instance, the Elvis one, I knew we weren't going to play much of that music because of how it relates to our idiom, but I could totally use it as a choreographed moment that fits over top of it a little bit, and then it really transfers over to the NWA. So during the NWA stuff, the dancers are actually doing the Elvis thing underneath it. So we got some kind of contrasting ideas with that. Um, um, is this, yeah. you mentioned, the? Uh, is this the first year you've had the mosh pit or like the visual ensemble? It is actually. So we, what was the driving factor to decide to implement that for this show? Was it like we have a necessity for representation from this type of uh, concept or how did that evolve? We've had interest over the years with people that wanted to do it. Um, and one of the things that kept us from doing it in previous years was not having anybody to teach it mm. because we don't want to give some, you know, a, a new section coming in, you know, my advice and movement, it's not going to happen. <laughs> you know, I was like, we need to have somebody there that's qualified to do that. And, you know, an independent group that pays, you know, next to nothing, you know, is like, that's just what it is. So, like, luckily this year we we've got a couple of talented instructors that are have been a part of our group from the outside, and uh, it's it, it's worked out really well. We really good recruiting, and uh, got some like I said some killer talent in. But that's the first catalyst. We had somebody to teach it. The second one is like I needed somebody to pull these stanchions out and work these props, and it wasn't going to be the battery. Um, because some of the hardest things that a group can do is a transition to go take your drums off and get them back on. And we've done that a lot in the past. And I, I think we're pretty good at it, but it's not something that I like to do, nor does the okay. staff like to do it. It can be very forced. You know? Yes. Yeah, it, it can be. And if not, it's like it has to be part of your design. Like it has to be like in a timeline, have purpose. And, and just to avoid that. Uh, like I just need more bodies, you know. That's that's really it. Yeah, um, it's a fine line you got to walk. I have as far one... as go ahead, okay, sorry. go ahead, Mike. No, 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 no you're, you're good. good. Oh, okay, so I had one last question to bring us back. Yeah, it happens sometimes when there's yeah, a yeah, bunch of people good, talking. Yeah. You know, too many too many thoughts going through our heads. But to bring it back to this year's show real quick, you mentioned before you have all of those different homages you all pay to various things throughout different art mediums musically that have pushed the boundaries and everything. How did you all come up with all the different things you wanted to pay homage to? Was it like you all just sat in a room one night, cracked a few beers, and just like threw stuff out there and see what people liked? Or did you all prepare ahead of time? Or you already had these in the back of your head as things you'd like to put in a show at some point when the show allowed it or required it? Like how did the, all the different moments or, or callbacks come about? Um, That's a good question. I think... I can't really remember that. I, I can say that the show The Red Line came first. Mm -hmm. And it was, hey, let's do something where we present different artists that have done certain things, right? And we didn't limit it to just music. It was, like I said, the Elvis Waist Down choreography. It was the avant-garde of uh, Yoko Ono or John Cage. It was like... Just whatever artists we could put out there, we didn't do any painting because it's just we try to find things that I could um, materialize on the floor, mm -hmm. and th th that's a big one. So uh, whatever music we picked or moment, I wanted to make sure we could do something that could physically be tangible away in a design process that could present it the way that we needed. Like for instance, um, um. The Elvis one, like I had mentioned, I knew that we weren't going to be playing a lot of that music, but we could use it as an effect and some voiceovers about how he just did what he wanted. He didn't mm -hmm. care what anybody else thought. And we've got like a little segment in there about that as he starts to do kind of his, his leg movement and stuff. And um, 
yeah, I mean, I knew I wanted to be censor, have stuff to do with censorship, things that uh, merge. People culturally kind of rejected it first. I know there's the one quote in there about like, right. you know, oh, this heavy metal music is kind of like satanic or devil music or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's satanic. It's a detriment to society. It's like yeah. the whole intro is about the doom and gloom of all these artists presenting their, their work and and how society just really kicked back um, or certain parts of society did. Yeah. And, and just the fact that, you know, things are on the radio now that would not have flown 20 years yeah, ago. That's for sure. Yeah. That's for sure. You know, <laughs> right. But we're all comfortable with it. But at mm. some point, somebody had to cause that friction yeah. right. for that wall to come down, you know, or that red line to come down or to step over the red line just so that it, there, it brings a little bit of normalcy to everything. And, um, and that's really what we did. Like once we decided when to do the red line, we just went down and started making a list of all the things that were impactful. Of course, Rite of Spring was the first one, right? Um, and then uh, we wanted to do some things with rap. We wanted to do some things with uh, female singers. We wanted to do some things that were avant-garde, uh, censorship on all levels, movement, voice, you know, just that kind of thing. Heavy metal. We, there's some heavy metal stuff that's actually... If you guys have seen the show, it comes after the Eminem stuff. It's like okay. the next thing. I've seen it once or twice it, so far. Yeah, I've watched a handful. I'm not sure if they'll be doing that this weekend at the regional. I don't know. I, th I think they're just still doing it through the Eminem stuff this weekend. Got to save some stuff. You yeah. got to just like you know, you can't. Yeah. Well, I they've known the music for a little bit, but I just put the visual on last to the ending like last weekend, and uh, we didn't have time to clean it. We just learned it, and so we're just gonna focus on the other stuff but but yeah we, we got to save some nuggets for the ending and and uh and all that for sure yeah is there anything um, that you feel like you want to say or want to put out there that people should be looking for are you going to keep it um no i think the show speaks for itself i i think we tried to be um creative with our choices and not on the nose with things. Mm -hmm. So I, I think that we, I think so far we've done a pretty good job with presenting those elements in a creative way that um, hopefully by the end, all the red lines are broken and, and uh, there's no more red on the floor, that type of thing with the lights and the floor oh. not being red in spots and that type of stuff. But it's, um, that yeah, little and, nugget and, and you just Jim, dropped right there of there's yeah. not going to be any more stuff red on to the look floor. Forward to. Like yeah. I probably, I always joke on myself that I'm not the I'm a drum I'm a snare head like I listen to the drumming music and the clarity that's what I focus on all. this this podcast has actually made me look more big picture when I watch the activity now and I've I like that but I'm still like blinders on sometimes I probably would have had to have had that pointed out to me about like oh there's no red on the floor anymore like do you get it they broke through the red line in the back so yeah it's really cool you just said that right there now I'll be I mean, sure. And in the end, I mean, I can say it because you're, I mean, everybody's going to see it. It's not like we can hide it, but like they're the four movable props that we have that are out there, mm -hmm. like the rest of the props are not in any of the videos. We've got eight more of those that go around the floor that mm -hmm. all light up, gotcha. but they're not going to move. They're just there. So we take those four and we put them on the right side. And then at the end of the show, we take those four and we move them across the floor as all the lights turn from red to other fun colors we get to the cross the group because we start on the right side of the floor mm -hmm. on the red. We're going to move that over to the left and then we're going to pull the, uh, the red floor over. So it's all black and all the red lights turn other colors. Nice. And interesting. we basically like move it. our bodies from red to, from one side to the other kind of mm. thing at the end. So, yeah. From where they start. Yep. Exactly. Simple yep. uh, ending that everybody can gravitate towards and digest. Hey, they moved the red line. How about that? and uh makes sense yeah 